Well, good morning. We're back. It's six feet apart with a special guest today, Studio Rock Shop. I'm so excited they're here. I'm dropping that tape measure because I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're over it. Yes, over it. Oh my gosh, over the whole thing. Okay, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited you guys are here. Can I have a quick introduction? Names, please. I'm Kathy Rudy. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Gary Benzel. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here today. And you're locals, right? Yes, we are. Absolutely, Valley Center. Yes, and you guys know how we feel about supporting local. Um, they have some amazing, amazing products here just in time for Mother's Day, which is why we invited them in this morning to talk about these amazing air plants. Oh my goodness. So tell me about these things. Well, they're also known as Talantias. They come from several regions in, in the world, including South America, Mexico, and parts of uh, the Southwest west of the United States. They grow up in the tree canopy. Mm -hmm. They're used to living on misty water and the air but they finally attach themselves to bark. And in this case, we've attached them to crystals. Now, what type of crystals do you guys have here? We have an assortment of crystals from amethyst to citrine, quartz, um, pyrite, um, rose, sand roses. Wow. Just, we love rocks, and so we use a variety of them. And um, how did you guys get into this? This is a very unique uh, style of putting together, um, you know, the plants with the crystals. This is beautiful. How did you guys get this? Your we start? actually met over the love of uh, rocks. Oh. We got mm -hmm. to know each other at a lapidary group in San Diego. Okay. And Kathy was big on plants. She's a gardener. Mm -hmm. She's one of these victory garden people. Nice. And uh, I had cut stones and made jewelry for years. And when we got together, she said, let's put one of these Talantias on a crystal. We had been doing rock shows prior to that. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to sell a crystal. Mm -hmm. But you put a plant on it, and we've had very good success. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you guys remember uh, back for Artisan Days, they were here, and they just knocked it out of the park. I mean, people love these. I actually bought a few of my own. Hempy Girl Organics bought 10. <laughs> <laughs> she fell in love with them. And number of reasons, um, and I would say one of it is because of the price point. Can you guys tell me a little bit of some of the prices here? I mean, I'm seeing $10 on that. Is that correct? Crystal That's correct. included. Wow. So your price ranges from? about six dollars on up to 50 or 60 dollars just depending on the rock okay and what are some of your favorites in this collection um i like the amethyst and the quartz crystals which are which ones i know here's nothing a, about here's this a amethyst okay she hand picks quartz. all these stones when we go to the big gym show in tucson every year okay she goes through thousands of stones to get the best ones Oh my goodness, and you can tell a lot of love went into these. How would you water these? You spray them with um, filtered water two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. Some people like to dunk them and then shake them off. Mm -hmm. If they get too much water, they can rot. Okay. And they don't like San Diego water. They need the filtered water. Too mm -hmm. many minerals in San Diego water. The ones with the wispier uh, foliage need more water. Okay. You'll notice that the, uh, some of them even have a little bit of brown curling up. Yeah. But no matter, because if they die, you can just spray paint them gold. There you go. They're beautiful. <laughs> That's a great idea. So I have this one, and um, I did not know about the misting. So I just put him under water and shake him. And he's still doing great. He's in my window uh, with all my other succulents and pretty happy over there. Um, so you guys, this, the timing could not be better. Give mom something really, really unique for Mother's Day. This is one of a kind. Um, if you place an order uh, with Brick and Barn, we will have this available uh, within 24 hours, uh, gate pickup, and we can wrap it really nicely for mom. A really unique gift. Now, I want to move over here a little bit. We have something else you're showcasing. Also, uh, local Valley Center flowers from our orchard. Oh, beautiful. What kinds do you have? These are pin cushions and protea with wax flowers, grevillea, and honey bracelet for green. Okay, could you point out a few of these? these some of these look familiar, like from South Africa. That was my, where my dad's from. Yes, so. these are South African flowers. This oh. is, let's see, this is a pin cushion. Mm-hmm. And these are the, the proteas. Um, 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we've had quite a few orders already going out. Uh, we have the smaller bouquets are in the Mother's Day kit. Those are included, which I believe is, is it right. this one, right? Beautiful bouquet. Yeah, beautiful. So mom would get this, and I did photograph this for the Mother's Day kit, but there's a fresh one, because mine were about a week old, but they still looked great. <laughs> they well, all go two, three weeks, we found. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. They drink a lot of water, and they just, you need to keep refreshing the water. Mm -hmm. And they dry with color. Right. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm big fans of these flowers. Um, we have, in the next couple days, about, I guess, close to 15 of these bouquets going out. People are going to pick them up right at the gate. Really, really easy. Uh, we're making it pretty easy for you guys. The phone number to call is 760-651-2635. You don't want to miss these flowers and these air plants on crystals, you guys. Very, very exciting news is that these two are going to be part of our Brick and Barn team. So you will see them at our next show, May 15, 16, and 17. Do not miss out. You can Go get- Brick and Barn. Yay! Yay! Yeah. We're so excited. Um, any final words you guys wanna add and just kind of encourage people in this really funky season we're in? You know, it's local businesses that make up a good portion of America's economy. And all, all those that people call them non-essential, uh, the livelihood that we make off of these things is essential to us. Mm -hmm. So support the local artists of your community. I love it. Yeah. Could not have said it better myself. Thanks, you guys. And again, call us. Order these today. We're very, very excited. Uh, Studio Rock Shop is now in the house. Yeah. Have, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>